Hi library families, it's Miss Sarah from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library. Thank you for joining me for today's STEAM video. STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, and today we are going to explore moon craters. So if you're looking at a picture of the moon, you probably see some bowl-shaped indents in the surface. Those are usually caused by collisions with asteroids and things like that in space. So we are going to replicate our own moon craters and see how they are made. For this experiment, you will need something like a big bowl. I'm using the top of a cake container just because it's a little bit deep, but it has a flat surface for us to use. You'd also need some flour, some hot chocolate mix, something to scoop it with, and then we will need something to act as our meteors. So I have a variety of sizes to experiment. I have a little tiny bead to see what that would do, a small pom-pom, a larger pom-pom, and a ball. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is scoop some flour into our dish. We're just gonna put enough in so we can make a nice even layer. You might have to shake it to make it flat. Then we're gonna get our hot chocolate powder. This is gonna represent the minerals and stuff that are on things like the moon. So we're gonna shake some of that on there. And now let's get dropping. So our little bead left a tiny little indent on our moon. Really, really little. Smaller pom-pom was very, very light, so it didn't leave much of a mark at all. That one kind of did. It still isn't very heavy. There we go. Now we're getting some real craters. So the big, heavy ball seems to be our best crater maker. So I'm just going to keep using that a few times and see how all the minerals get kicked up. If you want to start again, you can just give it a little bit of a shake. Now you guys can really see how the surface of the moon gets impacted by asteroids and meteors. You can even see some of the markings from the ball. Thank you so much for joining me for this experiment. We hope you enjoyed it. As always, you can send us pictures or videos of you doing the experiment at home to spoland at innisfilideallab.ca and we will see you soon. Bye.